make it every day. Breakfast with Bob and Michelle. Yeah. Yeah. Michelle Vester B, fourth place. You've Yay. been eighth, you've been twelfth, now you're fourth. How does that feel? Oh, it feels awesome, to be honest. I haven't slept all night long. I've just been looking, looking at my Facebook. Is this real? Are people just going crazy back home? Yeah, they are. Denmark is a small country, and we had two girls in top 10 yesterday, so that was amazing. It really is amazing. Yeah. So when I saw you last Saturday, I could just tell you you were different, right? You're, mm. And when we saw you at Challenge Denmark, the way you were running, more upright, you look like a runner. Mm. Have you noticed that yourself, that your body has changed and that you feel more confident as, you know, as, as a full triathlete? I definitely have improved on my running. I didn't run faster than last year, this year, but I definitely was much stronger, you no know. Question. My training has been going really good in the running and I was really feeling confident. I, that was also what I told you. I have confidence in my run, so if something misses, I miss out on the swim or on the bike, I know that my run will take over. So that you, the run has become a weapon for you rather than the past, you know, something where you're thinking, oh, I've got to hold on on the run. Exactly, yeah. So take me through the race yesterday. Uh, the bike, uh, Daniela was out there. Yeah, yeah. Gone. They were giving me times to Daniela. I was just like, I don't need time for Daniela. Leave, leave her out of this. <laughs> this is the race for everybody else. <laughs> yeah, everyone else and then Daniela. Yes. Yeah. So that's the way you started looking at it. That, yeah. Okay, I've got to worry about the girls who are around me. Were you riding with a group or were you by yourself? Actually, I was really trying to do my own race. I was really like, you just have to do your thing. I came up the water, I was on the legs of Leander, and I was like, wow, this is going quite good. I felt it was feeling smooth in the yes. swim. I came up, I had a really fast transition. I think I was out on, on the bike a second. Yes. And just like getting into a good rhythm to begin with, oh, they're always pushing a little bit in the start, but I know that yes. getting out to, towards Harvey, and I was with, with this group of eight girls, feeling good, coming down Harvey, I, I did need a little bit more gears. Yes. I blame my bike bitch. Oh, your bike bitch. <laughs> your bike bitch is supposed to have the big 11, that 11 sprocket on there so you can go 40 miles an hour. Exactly, yeah. So I lost the, the four girls in front and I was laying one minute back. I could actually see them right up there, but I was also, again, don't overdo it. Right. It's warm, do your own thing. And it's, there's a marathon to come. It is, yeah. When we saw you coming up, uh, Polani. Yeah. You oh. were, yeah. You Polani. were still looking better than most. Yeah. You were. You. You. You looked strong. When you got on the Queen Highway, were you getting having an idea of who was where and and what you needed to do to to move into the top five? I was again trying to do my own thing because yeah. a lot of case to go, and I was overtaking. Jody Swallow and Mary Beth Ellis, and it was actually not fun because that's two of my good girls. Right. That was also what happened yesterday. A lot of good girls had to drop out. Yes. A lot of good girls were suffering, so I'm really, really humbled to sit in the fourth position because there was better girls out there yesterday who had a shitty race. Yes. And that was to my advantage yesterday, so I'm humbled to be in fourth, and it was not fun, and I wish the girls the very, very best, you know, yes. so... What did you learn about yourself? Because you had to be patient all time, all day. Yeah. And I'm sure that's something that Luke has worked with you on, to be patient and not just go. Exactly. Well, coming off of this race and getting a fourth place, what, what do you take from that? I'm, yeah, I'm just super happy. I had a strong last 5K finish. We've really been trying and working on the negative split. And he always says, people say, we can't do negative. You just have to go slow enough in the beginning. And that was what I tried to do. Go, go slow. slow early on yeah. and save it for later. Exactly, yeah. Because this is what you see in Hawaii every year. You see that people are suffering on the right. last 10K and everything can happen. So I started in fourth, coming off the bike, finished in fourth. There was some change in the position behind me well, yes, and in, in front, front of, of me. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So... Yeah, again, I did my own pace and really tried to hope that it could... Klaus was yelling, keep this third, and I was like, third? I couldn't even imagine in my head that I could get to the podium, you know? <laughs> Fourth was good. Yeah, I was happy. Come, I was celebrating. Yeah, <laughs> yes, I know you were. Coming down Lee Drive, knowing that you were going to get fourth, the highest finish you've had here, Yeah. right? And I know when you get eighth early on, first time out or so, and then you go to 12th, you start wondering... Well, I wonder if that eighth was as good as I'm going to do. Yeah. And now, with all the hard training you've done, working with Luke Van Lierda, 
coming down Ali'i Drive? Did all that sort of go through your head that I'm heading in the right direction? Yeah, for sure it did. I could already see in my training that I was improving, that what he's been saying, that 2016 is going to be my year, 2015, just get an easy top 10, he said, so we can focus on 2016. That's what he's been saying. And I've been like, I just, I, yeah, you know, I, I want to do it now. now. I, I want, want it, it now. now. So I actually the day before the race, I said to Klaus, Klaus, I would give my left arm for the sixth place. Just give me a sixth place. I don't care. And look, I'm sitting with both arms and I finish fourth. So. <laughs> <laughs> How about a round of applause <laughs> for Michelle Vesterby with both arms? Yeah. Pancho Man, <laughs> take us out. <laughs>